Avalon, you have limited time to identify the source of this Aza migration. The lives of every human left is in your hands. No pressure, Jake. Understood, Commander. Control, what's the current status of the Aza? The Zata that the early warning system picked up are halfway through forming a Super Aza in the ruins of the old Adrillian capital. Once it is complete, it will lift off and attempt to connect with the Alpha Point of the rift we are observing. The Omega Point is currently 8,000 miles off the surface of Gaia. You need any help, Avalon? Shadowing is fueled and ready to jump. Tuned her myself. Appreciate it, Gauntlet. Guy's gonna need you in case this goes south. I'll keep you posted. Understood. Ballistics protocol activated. Select panel for firing mode. Without ammunition, system AI will auto-switch to kinetics protocol. You have a 360-degree firing mode. online. Calibrating frequency modulation. Copy that. And seeing shield status. If deflectors are knocked out and you do take physical damage, perform evasive maneuvers and give the normal emergency nanomachines enough time to initiate the games. Hold up, Avalon. These traps were running back in the war, but they were not automated. So, somebody is the switch. Forget it, Jake. It was probably modified after the mass evacuation by the last man standing. I wonder how long they survived with these booby traps running.
Avalon, you're done here. I need you to begin a descent into the lower levels of the facility. Continue following the signal trail. Nightwing, how much time do I have? Nightwing estimates you have six hours until the Azer is in the sky. If it connects with the Rift Gate, there's nothing we can do to stop it from taking Gaia and the Cetos colony. Commander, if this goes south, what's the Gaia evac plan? There is no evacuation plan. Gaia has no working quantum drives. The only functioning hardware left is on your Nightwing and Gauntlet's Shadow Wing. So I guess there's no margin for error. That's correct. Now get on with it. Coming up on a mechanically modified mutiform. Back in the WM2 days, we deployed tripwires to take them out. Keep in mind, this nodding is not as stable as it looks on those legs. Your hatch zone has already attempted an isolator. It seems to be a closed system with manual inputs. You'll need sync keys to override the mechanism. System AI advises there are three ID keys in your local proximity, and some of them are moving. The researchers that belong to those keys are Zada now. Any way to tell who has the keys? AI cannot obtain a definitive feed. We're gonna have to keep this low fashion. Affirmative. Some of them have undergone hypergenesis while we've been gone. I never personally faced off with one this size.
Control, we've tripped an early warning system indicator on board Nightwing. The category is not exhibiting some kind of glitch on our end. So it's an early something warning. It's really great. Thanks, Nightwing. I reach the next beacon following your trail. We aren't alone. Are you seeing this? Since when does Zada use this stuff? I was about to... This is Control. We have solar flare detection. Flare exhibits 66.3% chance of upleak severance. If you lose signal, remain stationary until the visual artifacts subside. Do not leave your current position. If any Zada find you, you will not be able to defend yourself. Copy that, Control. This is a sealed area. Activating void field and awaiting instructions. Nightwing, how's it looking up there? Don't worry about me. This is your first severance, isn't it? Copy that. What's it like? Like tumbling down a rabbit hole. You're going to lose contact with us, and your subconscious will do its best to extrapolate your environment. Try not to interact, as everything you see will be an illusion. Flare contact! Signal is bending. Hold position and wait for trans- Control, do you copy? Nightwing! Commander! The hell is this? So much for visual artifacts! These data are real! Computer, begin environmental recording! I gotta see this. How are the Zada doing this? 